What up, what up? This is the Rawway Show Podcast, and my name is Rawway, a.k.a. The Big Homie. And I'm here with my two co-hosts. First, I got somebody I've been around for a long time. He's an original member of the Mo Steel crew. He's a hip-hop and life analyst and our own personal master, Cicerone. My homeboy, Shock Giddy. What's up with you, boy? Yo, (laughs) G-I-D-D-Y. And I don't got no friends, only family. My family gonna eat first every time. What's up? Word. Also, okay, I like that. Also, joining us, one of the dopest MCs I've ever ever heard in my life. One of the dopest barbers that ever touched a pair of clippers. And also, a hip-hop and life analyst in his own right. And, mama, there goes that man! <laughs> the myth, the legendary, Paul Clark. What's up, homeboy? Hey, what's up, everybody right here? Just getting off and shit, doing my little thing and shit. <laughs> hey, listen, for real. If you can't afford that for the drawers, stop buying that one pair of random <laughs> three days and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's impossible for me to add, you know, three pair of ethic drawers. They got Batman on it in a yellow for three days of the motherfucking row. That's, That's the that weed, Just see? argue with a nigga at the gas station, buddy. That's that weed, third shit. time I've seen you with that shit on. <laughs> Cause not enough people saw you wearing them motherfuckers and shit, so you gotta keep wearing them. We seen them. That's that weird shit. But yeah, that's what's up, yo. We we here. This our first. This our first go around. This is numero uno. We just taking a toast to the times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm around some good brothers right here. Got a lot of knowledge. Uh, what's up with y'all, man? Like, how y'all feeling today for our number one Excited. show? Show zero zero one. I've been uh. A little stressed thinking about this shit. I've been, you know what I'm saying, up and down all around just trying to see. I'm glad we're here getting this shit popping. Though. Playboy you know keeps you like that, though. Get when it, he yeah. gets to try to make Send something me, happen and yeah, shit. A few texts, like, keep me in line. Nigga before I got started, I'm like, what the fuck? He get up at 8 and 6 in the morning, and I get a text. I'm not woke, nigga. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yeah, I know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be at work for two hours. <laughs> nigga, I be savoring them fucking few minutes and shit. <laughs> but it, but that he keep us on our toes and he, and it's on and popping. What's up, Playboy? What up? What up? You know, so you know, how's your weekend go, man? I was terrible story. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Shit been bad for two weeks. You know what I mean? But I'm just gonna talk about this week. Sitting upstairs. Me and my peoples, my daughter, you know. The dog's barking. Hey, 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 hey. So, you know, at the building, you already know if you don't come through there, you don't call first, ain't nobody coming to that door. I don't give a damn. It might be my mom, but she's going to call first, so I'm going to the door. So, dog's barking. So, I'm like, go down there because I'm waiting on somebody. I'm waiting on Devin to come over there. My homeboy, Devin. What's Devin. up, big dad? Yeah. So, I'm waiting on Dev to come through. So I'm like, go check the door, see if that's Devin. Get down there. Mom down there like, shut up. Excuse me. Wrong way. <laughs> come here. Come here. Hurry up. Hurry up. I'm like, what? Who, your mom? No. Nah. Oh. Babe. Oh, at the okay. house. Okay. And um, you know what I'm saying? And so we run downstairs. I go downstairs. The Jeep is facing the crib. So I look out. You look around, see what the fuck is going on. Box truck slash smash into my truck, so I'm out of a Jeep. Where where the fuck did the Jeep, if it was facing the crib? It was sitting on the side of the building, like in the parking space on the street. And now it's all the way up by the front door. Almost. God damn. Fucker, Nick. Car was (laughs) facing the house, like he done drove it, drug it. You know. It was terrible. I'm sad. I'm very sad around. about it. Dana, that, 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 that food you took from somebody in third grade. Or something, I might have. You know, somebody's lunch money. Yeah, you got to apologize to everybody. Yeah. And that's some fucked up shit. How you know when karma's kicking in and when it ain't? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, right. I'm doing right. I've been giving back to this community be. for years. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, when this shit going run out? Like, why my shit keep getting fucked up? And I, the trash can don't equal out to the real shit that you just did. <laughs> you got to do the real shit. Yeah. And I favorite. try to do, I try to live by that too, thinking like, you know, what have I done last? I ain't messing with nobody. I ain't, you know, this is the second car in 45 days. God, Listen, I did a whole lot of dirt. And sometimes when I'm in that, 
in the midst of my shit, like, damn, why this shit happen to me? Shit just flash in my head, like, damn, that was some dirty shit you did right there. Yeah. Like, why you do that shit? I don't even think of it. I think I just, le- I think I'm so, I think I left it in the thinking I'm leaving that type shit in the past. Like, nah, I ain't did nothing to nobody. I'm out here. Like you said, community serving. Man, fuck karma. Man. Nah, I'm trying fuck, to no, no, do no, right. Do that and shit. Look at these streets right now, nigga. We created this shit. You know what I'm saying? All this oh, bullshit. Yo, motherfucker. And I swear to God, put nigga, that damn nigga, blunt was, out. I swear to God, nigga, you philosophizing a little shit. too soon in the game. It was like, cool to be a kid when we was little. We changed that shit. Look at our kids now. Nigga. We going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have okay. like yeah. one wing. That's, yeah. it. One wing. <laughs> That's how you know the niggas that wasn't shit and you got to slip yeah, into heaven and you flapping around with one wing. The people with two wings know not to stay there. Stay the fuck away from him and shit. Stay away. He's, sw- he's flapping shit. around. He's flying in a he circle. Eighty four feathers and shit. Don't fuck flying around, around in a circle. <laughs> oh, I did right, my motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Well, that was my shit. So. It was a bad, bad moment. So that's where I was. What happened with y'all? Paul, you worked this weekend? Man, I worked every single day. I didn't know it was uh, trick or treat, though. I don't know where I was. I thought it was like Fuck me trick or treat is the 30th and Halloween is the 31st and shit. And I had this, I was at the Hot and Hoochie and I got this $30 mask and shit. $30. And it was like the Michael Martin or the Jason one with the, with the neon lights shit. and the push the button and all that. I got an old outfit to match with it and shit. I was going to cut hair in this motherfucker. Mass and have candy for the kids <laughs> on the news and watching, you know what I'm saying, with the trick treat sites and that, and just threw me the fuck off and shit. And then they had the Halloween parties everywhere, and I missed that. Hey, I heard that moments, I don't, uh, not moments, but the social club, they had a Halloween party and shit. And one of you motherfuckers brought a real life motherfucking chainsaw, but it didn't have a chain on it and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck? That's motherfucking heavy fuck as fuck. Up. So who the fuck is with it? You, you gotta get the But it, you know, they got different sides, so they got some shit that ain't that heavy. Now, if motherfucker brought some big ass lumberjack shit, talking about yang yang, and that motherfucker had your bitch. That's stupid as hell. Hold this chainsaw while I get the chicken. Nah, that's that's just like too much. <laughs> I'm just hating because I wasn't. They there. got straps to go on them too. Like he could have just hung that motherfucker down the side, like a, like a damn. I got a hot leg. Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean? Like he could just hung it down the side, just threw that motherfucker back like Prince guitar. Only a minute. <laughs> The sponsor, this yeah, is yeah. being brought to you by Our Famous Kitchen. We holler at us and we got you. I think I'm getting a little contact here from this weed. Sorry. Smell pretty good. I know this right here. I smell it. Let me help. When you talking about some Our Famous Kitchen and shit, man, let me tell you something right here. This is what I do with this nigga right here. I order two of them. Like, the initial every thing, time. every time and shit, I want two of them. Because one, because I'm a little nigga and shit, you know what I'm saying? The one, not Tommy Davidson, like, not that, I'm bigger than him. And shit. <coughs> but I get two of one of these Settle in, though. in front of everybody's face. Smell like, like out, though. <laughs> that's just wrong, because that's my weed that I brought out of my personal stash. Hey, you ever buy weed off of motherfucking and shit? <laughs> and then, you know, when you around it and you smoking it and shit, and you pass it to him, you're like, what the fuck is this? Uh, nah, nigga, nigga, this some bull. I don't know where you got it. You got it from me. <laughs> Look at me. Dog in my weed, calling it out though. Look at that. Throat. Throw that shit out. Yeah, man. That's a, that. All right. I ain't gonna front it. It ain't bad. But shit. I know y'all heard about Alpo getting smoked over the weekend. So, he, was it his time? <laughs> Yo. Was it his time? That, that karma. Well, that's what, yeah, 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 that's, what, karma that's that karma we karma. was talking about. Automatically, my first thought goes to fuck that nigga. And then, I don't know him, fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Then 6 9 like, man, he got to be shaking in his fucking boots right now. 6 9 ain't do what Apo did, though. No, he, he, he just as bad. Like, he portrayed, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The he, people he, he was with. Yeah, yeah, he's fucking going against the rules of the fucking game. Yeah. And motherfuckers don't got he rules. He came into it days. against the rules. But period, point blank, I'm saying the game, the, 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 the message I got to send right now is the game is all fucked up. I wouldn't touch shit in the game for any fucking reason. Right. Just because, like, the game is fucked up. Nobody, you know what I'm saying, lives by the fucking code. You know what I'm saying? That shit is gone. 
And he should have because ain't no enforcers of the code no more. Six nine should have never been introduced to the game. He was the cash cow. You know what I'm saying? He should have. They should have been workhorsing his ass to feed the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because that's what they. I okay. think that's where they messed up at. That yeah. they were supposed to keep the talent away from all that. Yeah. And I don't care how how much gangster he was fronting and trying to be and showing up. So with him, let's. You can't. How how. This was fucked up to me. How you fucking talk that shit if you ain't about that shit? That's you saying like he he shouldn't be in the game, but he talking all that shit like he like he about that Two shit. Two years before the whole shit, bro, he was working in a bodega. No, I'm, I'm with you. I worked in a bodega before, but, but <laughs> <laughs> y'all acting like that's the first nigga to do that shit. Though. That's what I'm this saying. This is what I'm saying. Like the game, like where like where, where we at saying, as far as the game go? You got, every, I don't care who the fuck you is. You gotta be extra than what the fuck you really is. No, fuck no. That's yeah, their that, bullshit. That's, that's the that bullshit nigga, in the and game. And that nigga's circumstances is different than the Apo nigga shit because that nigga was in the life life shit of the real nigga shit and told okay. on the real niggas that have pushed them butt. You know the real but who's is, who's worse, Alpo or 6 ix 9 like, I would say Alpo up. because if Alpo would have never did it, if Alpo would have never did it, it wouldn't have looked cool for 6 9 to do it. Like 6 9 would have never even be thinking like it if Alpo would have never, or niggas like him wouldn't have never did the shit. So, bottom I line. Six nine. I think six nine was just, you know. Six nine would have never talked if they ain't kidnap his whole. If it wasn't exactly. normal, no, that's pussy shit. Because if you, it wasn't normal we, for niggas to be rats, like they, when I put them, them niggas, when the money was going like they was getting it, and then the nigga like they about to give me a hundred years, nigga, fuck that. It yeah, he, he he definitely had life based you on know what, what I'm saying. Here. And because he only did thirty five years, he been out. For like what, fifteen years? No, nah, he's only been out a couple. If that, one or two, yeah. One or two, yeah. And he's supposed to be in like police protection and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I think he might have knew it was gonna come. You know what I'm saying? Or he didn't give a fuck. Maybe like that was his fate because he knew. And but this, this is how I get get to six nine in the shit. This motherfucker know he gotta know he gotta fucking go. You understand? Like he gotta. So no, the shit is fucking over. Yeah. But he ain't got that security money no, no more. Already, How the fuck he gonna do that shit? You he already heard him say that, you know what I'm saying, cancel this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he in the court telling on every... But it's like, I don't see him like as a snitch, snitch. Like, you're a victim, really. No, it's you a snitch or you like, ain't. You, like, you, you in a, or you out. Ain't no middle ground I'm in this shit. I'm gonna give you money. I'm gonna give you money to protect me. You know what I'm saying? From all the reckless shit I say that I ain't never did on rap, I may offend some motherfucker, but they ain't gonna say shit because y'all my muscle. You know what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden you say, I want more. You know, and if you're asking for more than what the fuck I got, you know what I'm saying? Then you gonna, <coughs> you, you gonna kidnap my mom? You know what I'm saying? You gonna, throw, you gonna kidnap me? You know what I'm saying? You gonna, the nigga knew the nigga he had to jump out of a window. Though. Listen, like he was talking to the niggas in the car. This this how the game go. This how the game go, though. Right? If, if, if they on that shit like that, you gotta get back. On, on on the game shit. Right. You you don't fucking go outside the game. You gotta fucking if you in the game, you fucking handle that shit on the game shit. Early right. on, on these right. fucking terms. Early we you know what I'm saying? Karma. We were talking about karma earlier. You know, cause six nine wasn't built. To, it's a it's a motherfucker. It's a small few motherfuckers that'll be in that situation. And it's like I ain't saying shit because I'm gonna get the motherfuckers myself. Six right. nine wasn't getting shit by his motherfucking self. He ain't getting no fucking revenge and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that's the only option that he had. But this how the game go. If you not built for that shit, you don't get that you shit. You can't fucking game. get that shit you back. You only know the rules of the game if you are a part of right. it. You're little growing up, if you come out from some suburb, some motherfucking where, and you pretending that you don't. Know and even yourself, being in New York, them. even being where he lived at or whatever in New York, you can still be if you you not in it and no people in your family around you in it. You ain't gonna learn that shit just like that. If you, you may be a little bit faster. In a way of say of uh, how maybe a New York person is about their culture there is a little bit faster than say Kentucky, you know what I'm saying, or something like that. But he's not; he's still not a street nigga. Yeah. You could be there in Listen, the street, but not be a street he nigga. Was in I, it, I will he's say not that too. Like nigga. you know, what I'm saying this started. Like you ain't gotta be in the game to know the rules of the game. Right. You know, you could be in the fourth grade, the third grade. You right. ain't nowhere. Ain't no game yet. For you, right. but you know, if you got bullies and shit, and you take the long way home and they catch you in and whoop your ass when you go home and they think what happened to you, I fail. You already know that if you get beat up in the bathroom and somewhere and a, and a teacher come in, what happened? You say, 
Nothing. Because if you point them people out, you know what I'm saying, they get suspended. Now you got they boys. Did any of that happen in the ass court? Every time they see you and shit, because you got they boys. Did any of that happen in the court? You ain't even in the game. You know what I'm saying? Paul, do you need a hug right now? That's what we're trying to figure out. Right do we need to get down to... I'm observer. I listen right here. <laughs> People, kids are so fucking mean. That's why I be telling everybody... We all, as adults, all poor people do this, not black people. Stop putting shit on black people. We always <laughs> bring your kids up because we don't want them to be a punk because we know what the fuck kids do to your right. ass and shit. Right. So we, we teach right. them how to physically defend themselves, but we don't never teach them how to verbally defend themselves. No, you, you know your kids' ears is out here or their teeth look like mine and shit. That's why I'm glad ain't no video in here because I was smiling and shit. I don't know <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck you see your kids to school with fucked up teeth and shit and then that's or, or then the kids are like, look at your TV and you just unprepared and you don't have no comeback and you cry and shit. Uh, oh, man. Listen. When you woke up this morning and brushed them crooked ass motherfuckers, you already knew they was fucked up and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you should have your own jokes. I crack on every fucking kid verbally. So, himself. with that being said, did that is that you learning, knowing shit from the street? You just learn no, because you're but, around that. Yeah. yeah. But this is what I'm you're saying. Not, that ain't got nothing to do like with the fucking game. That's like common knowledge, game. though. That's not, that's not that's the common fucking knowledge. game. That ain't like the street shit. Like, you can be, you can learn that. Because it escalates. It, it ain't no longer we're going to jump you. It's all said. You just disappeared. That little boy never came home from the center. Or that little boy never came home from work. Or that little dude never came home from the block. Because you broke some code. It gets a little tougher. First, we just going to beat you up in the in a, in, a, in, a, in a gym or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like, when you start tattletelling. Because yeah. it used to be a shit. It it was taught when we was kids. But we don't know what snitch is. It was taught when we was kids. You, nobody snitches, likes to tattletale. Yeah. You but tattletale. Teachers didn't even like tattletale but kids. we don't like, explain to our kids and shit. A snitch is a person who was a part of the, the whole thing and right. shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? You just told You robbed the bank, got yeah, caught, yeah. and told on niggas. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and that's... that's you stabbed uh, the nigga and was there and told who did it. Yeah, yeah. so, and that's a misconception. When it comes to game and, and and these young niggas right now, you know what I'm saying? I don't even use the word niggas, but I'm going to use the word niggas in this instance. These right. young niggas right now who don't fucking understand that if you a fucking civilian, Paul, you talking about civilian shit. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody did something to me in school, you can go tell your mom, you can go tell the teacher, you can do whatever. That's civilian shit. But, but when it comes to the, it might be consequences, yeah. but when it comes to the fucking game, that's like if... Like you're saying, if me and you rob a fucking bank, a you get caught. Is a start, maybe a, no, no, no. If you're the fourth grade, you're not selling no dope. You ain't, the police ain't looking for you and shit. Your life ain't on the line. Listen. And shit. So if you tell so me. So in fourth grade. If you, if you tell me. It, for, a fourth grade if, hood nigga. If, a fourth grade if, motherfucker that, that come from parents who in the game, they they, they move different, mind, period, point blank. Gonna they, it's if not going to be the same as a square. If I take your cell phone and you tell on me, oh, you's a donor. You, you know what I'm saying? We, we all going to get you. If that. You, if yeah. So that's that's all that is. But once you get a little older, but if you, a little if older, you ro- now it's about dope. Now it's about money and shit. You but no, no, no. If you like white boy Terry and just sit in the back of the class and somebody take your iPhone. You can tell. You can tell. He's allowed to tell. Yeah, he can, but there's a consequence for it. He might get his ass whooped, yeah. but he's still... It's a consequence to all But it's shit. a totally different I, shit. Look, you it's don't, not. You don't know me so, at all. The so game. I tell him... I, I, I tell him Playboy for something right here, and that's your brother. You know what I'm saying? Once he's suspended, and you see me the next day, am I not getting it? You're definitely getting You're it. You're getting it. It's a And if I know this. But I, that's because that's I how we. There's some people mom. was around us. I tell my mom I lost my Paul, phone. Paul, you, say he you took my phone like. At, at this point. You listen. Know what I'm saying? You, I might you, have you, it if we. Listen. Paul, you fucking in the game by default from the fucking project environment you come from. That's what I'm saying. You know like, what I'm saying? Already, Some motherfuckers grow up shit in this shit. You, you know what I'm saying? But a motherfucker from over here who don't know shit about it, and, and this is what I fucking hate too. I, I fucking too. listen, listen. They no, do. no, no. Fuck them motherfuckers. It ain't this like what I Lincoln fucking Park, hate. Though. If you if you got a fucking choice in the matter and you choose <laughs> to to go in the dirt, you know what I'm saying? Like. Where, where you came up, where I came up, where we came up, it wasn't a fucking choice. This is what the fuck we do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is all, everybody before us, everybody in our fucking circle, this is what the fuck we do. But if you from over here in the corner some fucking where, and you, you know what I'm saying, you got a fucking choice to go to your daddy's company and work, and you choose to go get a, a fucking uh, uh, 
ounce or two or whatever the fuck you do. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's a fucking choice. No, we didn't have a fucking like. choice. No, nah. No, no, no. And that's where the game get fucked up right there. Right here, right here. Don't, because we don't know their life and their world. We just assume a lot of stuff. It's a lot of it's a lot of little rich white boys and middle class boys that know and understand. This ain't my money. This is my parents' money. They do. Yeah, they, they do, do that. I do they want do my that. own money. And I do go to this private school, but I do sell cocaine. Why am I doing this? You know what I'm saying? I don't have to be, then, you know what I'm saying? It's the whole thing right here. When, when we... If you see a dude with a gun and he's black, we all, oh my God. But if, you know what I'm saying, that white food, oh, he must be a You hunter. question that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you're a hunter. Like, why do we do this when we see this? You know, we do the same Things thing. Things that have been presented. Poor. We do the same thing. No rich people, they got problems too. You know what I'm saying? They get, they, they get tortured. If your mom is a dork and your dad is a but dork and they raised a dorky child, you know what I'm saying? In a, in a rich neighborhood, they going to treat you. You ain't got the clothes that everybody, you don't even look like But rich. we you talking about, dork. we are initially talking about the fucking a, a nigga game. that was large in charge. That motherfucker used to make a million dollars a week or so. $250 a day. $250,000 a day. Him and his homeboy and his crew get knocked and he, go to he prison. A bunch of motherfuckers he go to tell. He go to tell, then go to prison. I know a nigga that'll tell in your face because you can't beat him. I mean, what you gonna do? And shit, it's a lot of motherfuckers. I don't know nobody shit. like that. Cause it's if they telling me, I'm I kicking their fucking it's, it's, ass. It's, 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 it's a, it's a difference. You know don't saying? give a name because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm never doing gonna that shit. Name. I'm never gonna get his name. You know what I'm saying? Or these people's names. It's or he them some violent snitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I know some violent You know what I'm saying? And it's like you deal with him or you know what I'm saying? Like. I just think there? I just think that it's different. The, the two, I, the one is karma and the one is sucker vision. You listen, know what I'm saying that niggas a sucker hey, because them niggas thing. really should have kept him away from the bullshit. Bring him in when it's time. Who to you do talking the about? Video. Six nine right now. The six nine yeah. nigga. They should have just brought him in for the video shit. Nigga, you gotta go to the hotel. Yeah, that's take that's his right. ass, rush his ass to the hotel, but once and they wild out. Whole ass nigga, like I disturb. It took me eight seconds to know that I'm supposed to protect you and shit. And you know what I'm saying? I'm extorting you. You give me, you know. And then once I eight seconds, this the mother. And I'm pre- I done seen the hoe in you in eight seconds. So yes, I'm gonna want more than what the fuck we signed. The up biggest, for. the biggest ticket is the nigga to keep on making music and to push that nigga in the other shit. So That's once you get into doing that, you keep on eating. Why would you do some shit? I would never. I would keep that motherfucker under. That motherfucker wouldn't be there. Yeah, as Why would you the fuck on the We're an adult, adult. Most of his he's my investment. Were, most of yeah. his most of his extorters were children. You know what I'm nah, them niggas was older than him. Them was niggas that was already managing. Listen, the nigga that was managing him should have had him under wraps. Like this, and he fucking, doing this shit. That's, 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 a, that's an old school mind you frame. Know you know, that's an old school thought process. Because how this nigga gonna Protect talk all that, that shit? How the, how he gonna talk that shit unless he right there and seeing this shit? He can't only only a motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't never seen this shit, how you gonna talk that it's shit? The Malibu's up most money is out there. It's a lot of them right yeah. there. It's he there. was already doing it, bro. When he first was getting on, niggas, you could watch TV and make that shit up if you you know if you really got a team behind you. I, you know what? But I just think that. The difference in the situation, there's no comparison, but the same because they snitches at the end of the day. But there's no comparison for the fact that one nigga was a kingpin and the other nigga was a fucking rapper that was getting raped for his management. The other nigga, he killed niggas and raped niggas for they bricks. Who who who's worse in this in these two scenarios? Who's worse? At the end of the day, it, it boils down to the game is fucked up. Yeah, the game is fucked, fucked up. up. You understand? And, and it's, it's certain shit that even though I am more of a pedestrian now, I still live a certain kind of way. I right. still move a certain kind of way. I can still look around and see shit from a but certain this, fucking yeah. perspective. You right. know what I'm saying? Who Who is worse in this in, in these two scenarios? Why? Because he was in the streets. Because niggas looked, I'm going to tell you. looked up yeah. to him. Motherfuckers respected him. Motherfuckers. This was before there was even. This was because before. if six nine, was there, if there was any realness in it, I wouldn't need y'all to protect me. Right. I got my own right. motherfuckers right. that I grew right. up with from right. this high. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's and just, that's, and that's and that pussy if, shit. And if Alpo would have never did it, there would it wouldn't be a six nine. 
It, yeah, it, I many, I'm saying like, I ain't saying he was the sole person to say he told and now he just changed the world. He just was part of a bunch of dudes from our era. That, well, not our era, but like before us and the whole line of, you know how, so, as simple as the mob telling on each other and they supposed to be cause of no stress. Shit. You know what I mean? But them niggas started telling because they was about to look at Hundreds of years well, and shit like that. He's not in the boat by himself, though. They know, they're, they're, Who? Who's not in the boat by himself? He's not in the boat by himself. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there that want to be the man. And That's what I'm saying. Whatever the fuck it takes, I'll stab you in your back in a heartbeat and shit. Fuck That's the point I'm making. So, so yeah. let me say this real quick. In my opinion, this is where the whole shit flipped. The crack fucking air. Because beforehand, before the crack era, somebody had to physically bring you in. Right. And, and, and yeah. somebody was Person. physically responsible for you. Right. Somebody had to show you and and, and, and build you up. Yeah. So you know the fucking rules and you know the fucking penalties to the shit. Once crack came in, fucking Ronald Reagan's bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? Ronald Once Reagan crack was the best president as far as economically. <laughs> That's why I hate you, Paul. That's why I hate you, Paul. That's why. But as far as economy, Ronald Reagan. That's why I hate you, Paul. You motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? I don't You're right. You fucking. You you full of shit. You full of shit. Any case, let me let me. Oh fuck you. Let me get back to my shit. The 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 crack era was the point where you didn't need a motherfucker, to, a, a surrogate, or a motherfucker to bring you into the shit. You can get a fucking pack. Everybody had this shit. The you shit was the all over. Where you get the pack from? It was, it was everywhere, anywhere. Niggas were any, any, with a, uh, a fucking double up. You know what I'm saying? When you when you really starting down yeah. from the fucking yeah. beginning, you know what I'm saying? You got, you, you, but how do you fucking that, get the fucking money? Double up, though, niggas would, you know, the niggas would be down here, they put... My first, in, in, um, as far as not me, myself, but some shit I seen of my friends, and we were young, too. Motherfuckers was bringing them in. Like, nigga, it was young. And you understand know how I'm, easy it was? You know what I'm saying? Just giving then, them packs. You could work a job at a McDonald's for two weeks. You know, you never coming back once you get that check. You know what I'm saying? All you because know, you're going to get that, get the work. Okay, so, but start. this this is the beginning of food. all the fuck but shit. But you stay for at least a month so you can get that so second check and get some get a, a double, double up. Like in back that part, uh, before you really did it, you know what I'm saying, other people brought it to our attention, you know what I'm saying, you just a spectator, really, you know what I'm saying, so use that spectator first. You know what I'm saying? Then once right. you know where to get it right. from, you know what I'm saying? You, hey, you know, and then now I don't need you no more. I got my own rules. Like so, they, and that's and that's the, that's where the game started getting fucked up. Because the motherfuckers going based on their own fucking rules. And no one was there to fucking hold your hand and guide you through the fucking shit. And like then, God. don't don't let you get popping. You know what I'm saying? Now, a motherfucker really can't tell you shit. So, when I look at a, a, a little young dude right now. Who look at me, I'm like, hey, my man, la di da whatever I, what I got to fucking say. And he look at me like, fuck you, who the fuck are you? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I, I automatically see where the shit stem from, though. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. So the, ga the game from the 80s, uh, 85, right? 85? 80, 80, 85? That, yeah, Here, 85? where we from? 85. 84, 85? The shit ain't get popping until 85. And then that's when anybody can go in and get whatever the fuck they want to get. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? And nobody fucking guiding you. You remember when Mound Street, it used to be streets in, in our city right. where cars fucking lined up. And all you had to do was have your fucking pack and right. be in there and have a bigger yeah. block than the next motherfucker. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? You remember that shit, right? And that's how the game go. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and the motherfucker with the biggest slabs... Popping that shit, right. that's the motherfucker come up. But, now, you, <laughs> now you can't tell these like motherfuckers shit. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell a motherfucker shit. Right. Where beforehand, a motherfucker was saying like, "Look, this is how even even the smack man or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is how we fucking do it. This is how you fucking cut this shit down. This is how we. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was on the fucking same fucking level because somebody was teaching them the fucking level to this shit. Right. So now, now you gotta think about. Okay, let's fast forward past. The 80s. Now, where I have the most fucking, uh, uh, I am most remorseful. Actions. No, remorseful. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so. Fuck <laughs> 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 I had them too, though. Fuck you, Paul. The most remorseful because 
Think about when we was in the fucking spot and we we it's it's crack babies at this time, it's the test two babies, it's right. all these okay, and, and we getting well, all listen. Hey, fuck you, Paul. Man, fuck no, you, Paul. No, they bother me because they never put a chip on them or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> where are you right now? Right now, where are you? And That's what I'm saying. We but the shit, shit. shit. But the <laughs> shit. All oh, fucked up. sleeper soldiers. <laughs> fuck you, Paul, man. So, you know what I'm saying? So now we, um, Christmas time, we getting all these motherfucking shit. Everything that was supposed to be under that fucking tree is coming yeah. to the fucking dope spot. Right. And we got all that shit. And we passing that shit out like candy. Like, oh, here, here's this for you. Take this game. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't give a fuck. But imagine them motherfuckers who got crack addicted parents. Thank God that wasn't none of us, right? Paul, your dad, I met your dad one time. He's <laughs> kind of suspect, but nah, you know what I'm saying? Like, do it, got to do, do it take you. Does that make Alpo? Or you, the listen, point, listen. Okay, this okay. this is why I'm gonna bring that shit back in. All right. Now we got young motherfuckers who didn't have Christmas because the dope man got it. Who who right. who didn't like these okay. are the same motherfuckers having babies Which having babies was. babies was having babies or or not too. or not. He he might just be a fucking villain. Fuck everybody's shit. Right. Which it seemed like to me that's what the situation was. You know what I'm saying? Fuck everybody. But I'm talking about how we get Alpo from Alpo to 6 9. You know what I'm saying? Now we got these motherfuckers out here, unfucking loved, unfucking cared right. for, ain't fucking got shit. Now their 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 hunger is a hundred times different from yours or mine. Right. You understand? Because we I we fucking it. taking off they we taking plate. off they plate. We, we, we taking we eating they the all kids that just shit. waking up with nothing. They, the we eating all that shit. Or they shit. done sold the tree too. Or they done sold the food. Everything. The bag we got all that shit. We got all that shit. Now we out there with the uh with the flies kicks. We 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 moving and these little motherfuckers coming up after us like fuck everybody. So this is how we get to you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying it's like as far as the game being fucked up. Where a nigga you know what I'm saying? Out, you can see that nigga looking for everybody looking. So it, it kind of, okay, on that, it can make them the, almost the same type of person because at the end of the day, they looking out for themselves. It's a fucked up world when you only got the perspective. Both of the niggas is you. looking out for themselves. He's like, fuck him. I'm going to look out for myself. 6 9 looking out for herself. So what's your conclusion? Because to me, I think Apple got what he deserved. I agree, one hundred percent. I'm not sure if somebody smoked six nine if that'll be what he deserved. I think it's on the way. I think he it's should not be able way. to do shit ever. The nigga uh, Wack one hundred is like his management or something like that. So he's six nines. Yeah, he still get money and shit. Oh, damn, he doing business money. And but at the same time. The kid really ain't nothing but an artist. He ain't really, you know, and niggas will get draped off because, you know, you like you said, even being around niggas in a spot and shit like that, motherfuckers get draped off. And that's what he probably did, thinking it was sweet and being betrayed at the same time. But Alpo betrayed I don't know the ins and outs of all his story. Right, all right, I right. know is he, ain't tell he nobody, told he ain't telling nobody where he was from. He that's what he somebody. said. That's what he said. Yeah. But he gave up. He ain't had to tell the motherfucker. He didn't kill he giving up murder. He, so they like that motherfucker killed my brother. What the feezy? You know what I'm saying? Like he so So that nigga killed Rich? My conclusion is this. Simply. Anybody listening to this shit right now, if you in the game if you're thinking about the game, if the shit seem a certain kind of way, A, the shit is not real. Uh, 6 9 proves that the shit that motherfuckers is on record saying right now is not fucking real. Motherfucking Alpo proves that the shit is, 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 can, can, the shit is just fucked up, period, point blank. And the shit is gonna fuck you up. There's nothing you can do to get in and get out and survive this shit. You know what I'm saying? And if you're smart, Motherfucker, you got another option. Take the other fucking option. That's my conclusion. Paul. We can end on that. On that. Paul Clark, what you got? Yeah, my, well, my conclusion is just this. Like, you'll find out what's really what when we all die. You know what I'm saying? If some of us get to heaven, you see that motherfucker with one wing 
you know that motherfucker did the shit. You know, you deserve who the fuck you deserve. That nigga flying around in a fucking <laughs> in a circle, circle, one wing yeah. circle ass shit. Yo, and uh. this has been this is being brought to you by our famous kitchen. Holler at us, we got you. I think I heard, overheard. You know, I was probably being nosy or some shit. Like, you know, our famous kitchen was like, you know, okay, we're bringing briskets and uh, this is macaroni and cheese. And these motherfuckers make some shit. You know, like, I swear to God, you high as fuck. You got no, the munchies, I my do. nigga. And there's an ingredient. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know about food, y'all. I don't know about food. Y'all keep saying this shit. For you, ninety five fucking shit. pounds. What you doing with the food? food no, putting what, it in your pocket? When I say, when this I say that this. Is, this Grown adult man and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, 18th Street, I know your background, who the fuck is ain't shit flying, you know, with this shit. But how the fuck you grow you. your own degree? You got parsley and you know, what, what is that? No, no, like, no. Oh, if you just growing it right there. Listen. Over. That's what you don't fucking know. I I seen this shit like start from a little baby, like a little corn. No, the fish. He put the fish on in the foil and put it on the grill. I yeah, seen this shit. Yeah. I seen this shit beginning. growing. Like this shit is about to be something famous. And he said that there's this little guard is spraying water on him. Like, Fuck the police coming. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you know, famous kitchen. We got that shit popping, man. You know, I've been feeding y'all for a long time. You know, what I mean, that's. And they give you a lot. Oh my fucking god! This shit a lot for a little lot. nigga, big yeah. nigga like me. Like, give me some more portions. You know, like I said, holler at us. We got you. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. But uh, you know, <laughs> why are you bringing Jamaicans in it though? I don't know. That's just what that gunshot made me think of. Okay. A machine gun. I mean, I don't know. That just, I don't know. Because really, I don't think of Jamaicans. I, like, when you hear that gun thinking of a Steven Seagal movie or something like that, like, you, you that just took me there thinking about Jamaicans. I don't know. When what I don't think about Jamaicans. Is that probably, racist? Yeah, okay. yeah, very <laughs> racist. Racist. <laughs> but mine's probably worse because every time I think about a Jamaican, I see a dude with dreadlocks. I think, say, girl, six, time to have set, girl, flex. Giggle, but Bobby, come on, but that, but So you would hear that noise outside right. your house, and that's what the. You're right, you're right. So I should be. Our apologies. My apologies, but shit. On that note, like, you know. <laughs> you got a thing with chlamydia, Paul. What are we talking about right now? Nah, that's no, that's I remember, I like, your, your, your favorite rap you ever wrote for me was when you was like homicidic, committed to mangling, Boston strangling. But one of your lines in there was like, get rid of the, like, chlamydia. I'm like, damn, why this nigga got a problem with chlamydia? Like, bitches that burnt the shit out you. <laughs> you been fucking chlamydia out, my nigga. What's wrong? You burning? That's my excuse to get out of a lot of shit. Like, like, like I played for oh. today. Like, he ain't want to drink what is this shit. Nigga. He got his own reason and I've been in that situation before. The cool cops. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Paul don't want to drink with Oh, he being funny. And you really are. You already fucked up. So you don't want to drink no more. Because I got a cutoff limit and shit. So you got to make something. I'm like, nah, nigga. 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 nigga, 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 nigga. Hey, I can't drink. And on these chlamydia so pills, it says right here on the bottle with shit. Oh. And I'll say that in the crowd. Oh. Like, nigga at the health department. Don't 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 bring 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 how many bottles of chlamydia pills do you got? Did you always got one like on pat? I don't have one. It's an invisible bottle. So it's like a. It's like. You got them on deck, like so. If you fuck so, no, you just take the pill immediately. The it's just like you take, like, like you it's the damn like, uh, taking the shot. I don't have any. It's just like it's an invisible bottle. Don't try to shit. back down out the shit it, now. You know what I'm saying, motherfuckers was like, okay, he you pointed at the shit the whole smoke. nine, like you had the shit in your hand. That's okay. like he got. He, That's it's the reason like, why I can't, can't. I ain't go to your birthday party and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like, I just did too much. They put me. Spitting all on committee pills now and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, watch. Yeah, watch the committee pills supplier and shit. So, any either one of y'all caught that Dave Chappelle, that um, the closure? I was telling people to, to watch that. You talking about the one when he, you know what I'm saying, when he talking about the baby and the baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that one right there. It did sense. you watch it, Paul? Yeah, I did watch it. You watch it raw? I did. I watched it twice. Twice? think he's a smart comedian but because he's been though what i think the people are just now seeing how smart he was he been when he started he hung around 
a lot of smart comments. Like, I don't know him like like they, if they was at the bar together and shit. But I remember back in the day, he was on Tool Time. The show with Tim, um, the what the show Tim, was. Yeah. Was the show Tool Time? Tool yeah. Time, yeah. No, that was his. Uh, that was a show on the yeah, show. show. But he was show. on Dudes and the show back then as a regular. At first, he was on there a couple times. Then he was just on the show. And they don't fuck with niggas. Them white boys. Yeah, the only good black old, dude on the show. Uh, 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 that motherfucker on there talking yeah, yeah. about his tools and fixing shit. It wasn't no other niggas on there but that the shit. the neighbor, you up. never seen his face? Yeah. yeah. I'm with that shit. I think that shit, he's smart, man. He's a smart comedian. And he's talking about things. The, the shit with the, the transgender situation, I think he's not wrong. Because he has an opinion. We all have an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. Absolutely. So as soon as somebody starts telling you you can't have an opinion, mm-hmm. that's against the law, ain't it? Like, yeah, and, but it's, it's it's the same thing that these motherfuckers are fighting against. Like, right. they feel a certain kind of way, and it's the opposite of how you feel. I understand feel. what they're trying you know to do. You know what I'm saying? So they're pressing. You're bullying Americans. You exactly. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm in that Archie Bunker era. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, me too. Lose, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, yeah. And people need to know, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because you say shit does not mean, like, I hate you because of it. If I'm arguing with a skinny ass mom, maybe I'll beat your bony ass. I'm not sitting up there skinny shaming people. You know what right. I'm saying? Come down. I'm just going to you know beat your saying? motherfucking you know, ass. Bring your fat ass out. Like, I don't hate fat people. Hey, bring your faggot ass out. I don't hate gay So the fat mother be like, I heard them all. Yeah. I heard all that shit, nigga. You can say what you want. I done heard all of them. Yeah, so now you just bullying America now. You can't just. You know what I'm saying? You know a joke when you hear a joke. You know what I'm saying? If you hear a black joke and laugh and then move on, and I'm an African American, I have I so, heard every nigga joke. So it's cool for white people to be saying nigga jokes or whatever. Like you don't mind that. Listen, but I, fuck that shit. Fuck that. Listen, okay, back to what back think, to Dave Chappelle. What, like, what do you think? Uh, 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 Compton's most wanted was. I mean, not Compton's most wanted. Malibu. 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 Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're making fun of African Americans. Yeah, it's exactly. funny, especially if the stereotypes are true. You know what I'm saying? We hate. In that movie, we hilarious. hate when a stereotype is true. You know what I'm saying? Some of the stereotypes is like you know. Sometimes we we brainwash ourselves and shit. You know what I'm saying? We say shit like black people the only race and motherfuckers that don't get along. Fuck out of here! They got a whole great wall of China to keep other Asians out. Invading all white people. You thought they got along? They don't get along. Right. Nobody gets Real along. Shit. It's just that we live in the same environment. Who else gonna cheat on my bitch except a black person? If I live in a black neighborhood, if you move to a Hispanic neighborhood, guess who's cheating on your bitch? Is fucking some Hispanic dude. So now that's who you fighting and shit. You know what I'm saying? White people do it too. It's, who don't, don't, that's some it's nigga about the shit black right and there. brown violence. Poor people. Don't get it twisted. There's poor people acting like that. Stop the Asian shit. violence. White people still cable too. So don't say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people I like say that. that. When they say white people, are dead, like, everybody that's white don't know they got white privileges. Just go down Parsons Avenue or the West Side and shit. He's like, I'm, if I die and get reincarnated. West Side yeah, is, if, is more if, niggas if I'm reincarnated you into niggas. anything, you know what I'm saying? If I can't be who I am right now, and shit, I'd rather be a gay girl and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because me no too. nigga touching me and shit. But I, don't put me as a Parsons Avenue white guy and shit. Don't do that. I'm not racist. Really, I am. Are you Everybody sure? Is yeah. racist. Everybody is racist. It is. If you don't know where that person is from and shit, you know what I'm saying? My, my youngest daughter racist. She was racist when she was little. Like, if I had an Asian girlfriend right now and I'm about to bring she her was already right, She's like, she right see white people like, no, she wasn't on it early, like eight, yeah. six. Like, she wasn't fucking with white people, but her teacher, her teacher was nice as hell. She fucked with the white ladies in her classroom, but as soon as she leave that classroom, she was like, black power. <laughs> like she wanted the Pampers like you couldn't tell her shit white like no nah, I ain't wearing that shirt but you, you, when she in the classroom she loved that teacher she used to love all her teachers but well, on the Jay Chappelle little topic right yeah, there yeah. like okay when you see like I hear people say they forcing homosexuality or you know what I'm saying every time you see it on TV they force they're not for it ain't for you if you're not if you if you're not homosexually active it's not for you you don't it's, have to it's for the kids that's growing up that don't feel comfortable so they try to make it just like how African Americans in movies they didn't want to see us in that motherfucker you actually would ask of a white motherfucker with blackface play a nigga than right. that than the hire a nigga right you know what I'm saying and they did it too they were just like uh uh out um. Al Pacino played Tony Montana. He's supposed to be a Cuban, but he Caucasian than a motherfucker. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought he was Hispanic. Probably is. 
But he's gonna be an Italian Hispanic. <laughs> yeah. uh, he, he, Even if he actor. is, he's he don't actor. talk. He talk like this. In every, yeah, you in every motherfucker. Movie. I'm gonna tell you, get on me. <laughs> oh, he said, okay. <laughs> I'm reloading. He could be either or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he just get into the the shit I, that I he play. Say gay, but you see, like you know, what I'm saying uh, the transgenders and all that. You know, what I'm saying the, the, the letter crew and you see that in movies. It ain't for y'all if you straight. It's for your niece or nephew or whatever that's growing up and they scared to come out and you got to make it normal for them. Oh, no, I mean, like, like you like said, I'm from son, the I'm from the. If I had a son that was gay, you know what I'm saying? Tell Archie me, Bunker. Uh, tell yeah. me. Don't go out there and fake it and get married and have kids and all that and then come out the closet when your kids is nine or something like that. <laughs> you don't do that. That's I'm just torture. thinking like, we I, I think it's fucked shit. up. I'm still 15 years behind on this shit. Me too. I agree. Because I don't have nothing against anyone doing what they do. Live your life. Live your fucking life. Do what like, you do. Do your thing. As long as your shit ain't fucking my right. shit up. You know what I'm saying? But, cool. but I feel like, because now when you go to different shows, like everything, everything on Nickelodeon got a gay person, a gay, gay child. Or perception yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's real life. So, yeah, outside. it is. I don't think that's is, real life. But I think like it the is. way they put it on there. It's like, okay. I mean, I guess you're supposed you to cater to them too. You gotta cater to them, but at the same time, I'm cool with not. At, when I was young, I'm cool with it. I just want to. I think it happened too fast. It's there to prepare you too, as an because adult. I think it's because another you agenda. A, if you don't have a child or a grandchild or something, somebody in your don't act like the you know what I'm saying. Um, no, the, the gays are just them out there. No, they're. They're in our families too. And no, I'm not. But that's, cool. that's not the point yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, that's yeah. not the point I'm saying. The point I'm trying to make is I think that it's like force feeding a motherfucker son. Pressing like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like trying to make Pressing a motherfucker. Yeah. Like here, this you can't say this. And here, and I, I'm a the, man. I'm a man with titties. Right I'm a man with titties. I have female rights now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, 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 you are not being politically correct right now. I got to stop you. And rewind. I am not a man with titties. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Not me. No, 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 no. I'm saying like that <laughs> statement is what, what they pressing back against. This this, 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 this what I say. <laughs> like, I, I, I believe coming up, everybody then uh, had dealings with somebody of uh, a lifestyle of uh, 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 what? So scared of that. You're trying to, you're no. Right there, you're trying to speak no, no. <laughs> instead of say, say it. Gay, gay, say, say it. Gay. It's a, 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 no, say I'm just saying. No, I'm just saying alternative lifestyles. Right. And okay. You, 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 you fucking, I'll take that. And, and you know motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Especially you, Paul. Like, you you, you being crew <laughs> with motherfuckers. Not especially you. I just know that me and Paul then been kicking it on oh, some Lord. shit. Oh, okay, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Okay. Now, okay, Hold let me. On. Okay, I, 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 that that part was wrong. That, no, <laughs> you think me out? You think me out? No, Paul. I let me rephrase uh, okay. that shit. This is what I know. Oh, shit. Gay people have been around forever. Forever. I've never had a problem with Ain't the average the average gay person. You know what I'm saying? Like, boom. That's what you do. I ain't really into it. I don't really understand it. Fine. You understand? Like, and, Paul, me and you talked about uh, Ank. You know what I'm saying? Anky. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to put the S in there. Nah, no, 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 can't nobody understand. <laughs> no, we, we, we was talking about. My point was empathy, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, I'm saying yeah. empathize with the shit. But I'm just saying, like, every all of us know somebody that lives an alternative lifestyle. That shit don't really right. make a difference to us. Right. We, we don't, you know what I'm saying? We don't know. I don't know shit really much about it. You know what I'm saying? But if a cool motherfucker is a cool motherfucker, fuck it. But that's what you know what I'm saying? It. Like the boosters, a lot of the boosters came through. You know what I'm saying? And they, a lot of them was gay. But that's what homo, homophobic is. Like, you know, you're afraid to be friends with somebody who's a homosexual, active homosexual, because then now people don't think that you are also. You know what I'm saying? And that's but where from and you just you know. That's some real shit though. That's some real shit. You can't be that's just like right now if if you find me in a crack spot with a whole bunch of addicts around me, you can be like, man, what the fuck is up with wine? Something 
Got this spot on some, no, something is going first on. First thing a nigga gonna but, say though, I ain't gonna lie. First thing a nigga gonna first shit a motherfucker be like, I think one smoke. <laughs> or, 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 or what say he say ain't say ain't in the spot. Right. No, hold on, wait. Say, 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 around, say, 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 say listen. Like, say I'm not in the spot. Say, say we just in the car driving smoke. somewhere, and I pull up. It's smoke coming out the windows, and I I'm like, hey, what's up? We at the I gas station. Like, hey, you like. No, I'm talking about crack smoke. Like, and you have five fiends in the back. How, you like now if you if you pull up and you got five fiends in the back, I'ma think you. I don't, I ain't gonna. Think I'm talking you're about just somewhere. I'm, I'm talking about somewhere <laughs> just obscure. Like you just driving down the street and you see me. So I see you on Morris Road. Yeah, <laughs> with, with, with five fiends. Like five. What, what the fuck going on? Why? Like I done seen you like a couple times. It depends like, on how long it's been since I seen you last. <laughs> listen. Listen, I got if a little, I see you last weekend, I, I might not think that, but it'll be like a year. My I elbow a little ashy the first time, I did. Man. You know, I got a little crust in the corner of my mouth. You like, I ain't seen man, you in the middle, but, that, but, but that nigga pulled up on me with five fiends in the car. Five I don't fiends. know what the fuck he was doing. Five but that's fiends. the troublemaker, though. You know what I'm saying? Because if you, the person that saw it, he got two choices. I'm going to shut the fuck up, and then, you know, if I continue to see his actions, then I may ask him or something. Or maybe I may try to that, that's That's right. the real but shit. Like, if, if you really about people, let's come and talk about this shit. spread shit before they even know shit, and they just say shit. You Listen. know what I'm saying? Alternative lifestyles is the thing. Like it if, if, if I if I don't got anything He's to do with this, to you in this by our famous kitchen. Ain't yo bros, J bros. Uh, oh, but you know what I'm saying? Like what whatever the alternative lifestyle is. If you don't know me to be a part of this lifestyle, you don't expect me to be in these circles. You know what I'm saying? And that's not to say like uh we all got, you know what I'm saying, somebody a addict in our family. Okay, you see me with this addict. Oh, that's Juan's uncle. That's Juan's whoever. You know what I'm saying? You see me with somebody in another alternative lifestyle. Oh, that's Juan's do do do. But if you see me engulfed or constantly in certain little situations, it might cause you to question. And it's not it's not me. You know what I'm saying? But it's the environments that we grow up in and how we have to. You know what I'm saying? Like monitor ourselves and police ourselves in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, right. you you can't I can you know dig what I'm that, but if you pull up with five things in the car, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna call God hey, sir. But, but that's what I'm saying. I said why. And vice versa. But vice I versa. I but I but but now but now you know As what? A barber, I deal with things every single day. You deal with things. You deal with everybody. Beneficial, like, like, like you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at my linen closet. You go brought to you by that, Jordan you Brothers. Know what I'm saying? I mean, they beneficial. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? This thing, or, this, 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 this right here was like what is this? Is fifty four dollars? I'm gonna buy it for twenty. You know what I'm saying? Because I got people that are, you know what I'm saying. So you need. We deal with things. Come on, get this right here. Are you on that? Or are you on that? Every fire stick that I had when it first came out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell I didn't buy it from nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm, it's right here. You know what I'm saying? Like right. anything you need. You know what I'm saying? And I need a microwave right now, and, 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 and one will pop up on me. You know what I'm saying? So we need them. You know, so if I see you with them, you know what I'm saying? Why can't it just be business? You know what I'm saying? We want to shit on somebody else's name. But, and we see it. And it's almost but like I, I you know, they, yeah, yeah. They, they, they were shining and shit or Paul, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody's a hater. I'm a hater. Paul, what's the one dude that had the batteries like? You know what I'm saying? When we worked at uh, Lazarus and shit. The one dude that had the batteries. Like he Mad was batteries. Like, nah, he, he, Paul, what's your dude's name Mad though? Chargers. Man? Mad batteries. I'm Mad not gonna say alkaline name, batteries. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like nine volts. Hey, that listen. No, we were car Lazarus. batteries. Oh, uh, where we were like the he, Lazarus, right? He, and it right. was a dude, right? And when I was first working there, and he was training me and shit, right? And then you know, on break, some other people was like, you know, what I'm saying, do so and so like you? You know, like, and I'm thinking like maybe you told me about me behind my set line. Do a fuck if that nigga like me or not? And shit, you know, what I'm saying, no, do we like you like you? Because he was an active homosexual. You know, what I'm saying. So then once they said that, you know, so now. I'm looking at him corner eye, you know what I'm saying? And now I gotta check you out and make sure you ain't crossing no boundaries. How close that. was he getting? So then, to you? I mean, and he was an overweight. Pretty close. He was an overweight guy, you know what I'm saying? But it, you know, y'all all know me. If Did I you just know, rub up against me? If I wanna know, I'ma ask. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna assume shit, so I, it bothered me to Is that your dick in my ass? Like <laughs> Yes, Paul, it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm sorry, Paul. Since he's I'm an so overweight sorry. Dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you, like you should be playing football or something. Like, like, why would you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know, like, how because you're big. You know what I'm saying? Why you gay? You know what I'm saying? Like, don't even. You know what I'm saying? That I had an image of like. A so gay. does that that 
No, but he broke it down to me, you know, because I let him know I felt uncomfortable. So he pointed some ugly bitch out that's on the floor and shit. He said, hey, Paul, would you fuck her? I said, man, get the fuck out of here. He said, that's how the fuck we feel. Just because we gay don't mean that we want to fuck every guy. I said, I'm real with this shit. You ain't going to fuck that bitch. Why don't fuck that motherfucker over there and shit? But he ain't never say he ain't want to fuck you. No, but the thing about it is, he had a crew of illegal motherfuckers. These motherfuckers illegal Ill- motherfuckers. These motherfuckers had a money order machine. So is that part of the LG? No, well, listen. I don't ass. know. Like, I ain't saying that shit. I ain't saying say that, that shit. shit. But these motherfuckers they, I mean, had, like, motherfucker. anything you fucking Lose want. Lose your ID. They'll, get, they'll find a motherfucker in their crew that look like you. That'll, they'll get an account in your motherfucking name, put 500 in there, and then they'll sit up there and get, like, 5000 back out, and then now they looking for your ass and shit. These are some illegal motherfuckers. And shit, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can get all I the gear you want, you know what I'm saying? That part, we might have to cut that part. Why? Because that's like, you know, that's giving up a lot of game, ain't it? Like, no, that's we ain't some, say nobody's dry old stuff. No, they, they, they take back. They call, they call them TVs, you know what I'm saying? They'll steal a whole computer. This is back when computers was big as hell and shit. You need help. That big back ass motherfucking that shit. What, that what? I thought you that was. Like, we painting like a, a bad no, picture. No, this is old stuff now. No, I'm saying, saying like, what, what, Roy, I don't what know. you saying? I don't you know. Still, Just, I don't know if somebody would get feel a certain way about that. You know, Just because we lumping them all together. And, 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 and keep the shit in here because we figuring this shit out right now, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, But also, it goes from, initially, speaking of the back flat that um, Chappelle, Chappelle was getting from the, the uh, culture. So the group. This is this is what I think about the Chappelle show. The bullying. shit. Um, but I, I like I that. Think, I think it's definitely bullying, yeah. which we have done to them and people like them all our life. Or people that like two they, wrongs they don't straight. make it right. The two, two wrongs don't make it right. They did a whole lot of bullying. You know what I'm saying? They'll they'll sit up there and take your name and you ain't did that. There's a case where right. a dude, you know, what I'm saying, and he's actually against Hillary Clinton. You know, what I'm saying, and then so the women that work with him. You know, they, they took him out. They just sat up there and said that the, the main woman said that, you know, saying that you, know, you forced yourself on me and all that, you know what I'm saying? But when it came out in court, he already got evidence in his phone where you got the hotel. You know what I'm saying? You tell me where we've been fucking for years and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but but the Me Too movement, you, know, you have no job. Now you're divorced. You know what I'm saying? You was cheating right. away. Now you're divorced and all that. Now you find out that this bitch was lying and shit. And it's like, do you get your job back? Do you get all the money? But do you get your... Your right, family back, right. nothing, and they just disappeared. Nobody talked to And that's that's and that's, that's exactly the thing this, about this, this shit. Other uh, uh, Rainbow Me Too movement doing this shit. You know, saying you you can't do that. And the and the, the uh, who, what's his name? The uh, the, the one I left my uh, in the old town road. What's that? Lil Nas, Lil Nas X. Nas X. Right. He, he doing that shit right now in the Boosie. Yeah, yeah, he doing he it. Doing Boosie's ass. Yeah, you know you and Boosie is about doing no goddamn song together. So Boosie and, he, and Boosie they wrong cut though. All Boosie's uh, he can't get on Facebook and he can't get on shit. They, they chopped his ass um, off and shit. Instagram, all these. I I don't care your son. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't care if you mad because how your son came out. So why he is sitting up there, Lil Nas X? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Me and Boosie. Because he on he 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 on the side. He's saying Boosie coming out, Boosie coming out, like like, he's trolling or something, trolling the the shit out of you. You you can't play the victim. You can't attack a man and then now I'm gonna play the victim and shit. Right, right. He knew he that. Listen, he playing he playing the game. He playing the game. He playing the game. He knew that. And he gonna get fucking paid off that shit. And he getting a lot of fucking support from the shit. Boosie should have went in and did a joint with him. I mean, like, because... Yeah, hey, you might as well, or leave the shit alone. Like, who, who the alone. fuck are you, and though? Go the fuck on. When we as African-Americans yeah. was, you know, I just wish we had that type of strength, you know what I'm saying? Like, when we was a boycott, can we boycott something and it actually really worked? You right. know what I'm saying? Y'all was sit there and destroy the y'all homosexually active community and shit. I, I, I'm a patent that word, because I swear to God I made it up and shit. Homo- What's the word? Homosexually active. You know what I'm saying? So, you know... If you if you doing this shit and you fucking somebody's whole fucking life up, and well, like what penalty do you have for it? Most of y'all making money off of it because it ain't just the gays. You know what I'm saying? You got people. Well, out that's there, what it comes out to. The gays, that's Archie Bunker. That's no, that Archie Bunker shit. You. The I'm gays. The gays. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the, 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 gays the blacks. Dean uh, Battle of the gays over here. Yeah. They don't just have the gay support. It ain't just the gays people getting together, but like that. You, you got stop saying the fucking gays, no, Paul. Not, no, you you, you, you bad that's as me. No, the the gays, the gays, the gays, the gays. You know, there's letters to it. You can say gays. You 
can't say the F-A-G Dang, word. You can't say that. L-B-G. What is Lesbian. Gay. No gay. What's the bisexual? The gay. Sometimes you are. Gay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, my fault. But it ain't just the gays, you know what I'm saying? It's like... The Don't stop the saying the gays, Paul. That's, that's, that's the... like saying not saying lesbian. You can gay. say lesbian because that's in the, that's in the letters. You can't say Bi- the lesbians because uh, you're grouping all of them uh, up, no, up in one. Hold on, am I the lesbians? What did I say? The gays? Yeah. Yeah, they all grouped up into the gays. You're just gay. You know, so that's what it is. You're born gay. You but some of them people, some transgenders ain't gay. They just be... Yeah, like, they, 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 like they body be all like that or... Might have dressed like a woman every day and no, still I mean, have a man for it. I want to be a man or a woman so bad that I'm gonna t- take the money and I'm gonna make myself have. It's a chick, gender. it's a dude lady got a show on TV. It's a dude at the bottom, but he got his whole body done where weave and everything look like a woman. And these photos, these screens. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me stop it. This is no, hell no. It was on TV in uh, New York. They used to be on the Flavor of Love. It's, on, it's like her best friend, and like, and I was like, why would this motherfucker get a show? That I'm, well, but I can't say that either. I guess because so is it true? Is they opening the so doors and no making it all hold work? On, hold on. There's no law that if you get tricked by a transsexual and you have sex with him, there's no law to say like you can't <laughs> sue this motherfucker. Like they like why would you do that? Sue him. It, it, it would be worse than that. This shit God, is slipping like, down a slippery slope. So quick. Is it, is it true? That no, I wouldn't even want to hold on, hold on, wait. that he was talking about was his friend or he was talking about yeah. somebody that he knew or something. Yeah, he said that was a good friend of his, and his and they, those people's family came out. Those people on Twitter. Oh, man, we no, the that. female that um, cut the transgender yeah, female yeah. that was his friend. Yeah, he showed pictures of her. she passed. She killed herself. Oh, yeah, wow. and yeah. she um, her her family, you know, went on to say they don't they didn't feel um, any they kind of way him. about it. They support they him supported they think he want a good person. Right. So the gay community came at her real hard, like fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? It was too much for her and she killed herself because they was like, like he seen her somewhere and doing comedy and she, I don't think he knew it was a girl or boy or whatever. So she was a comedian. He she did. Because yeah, he yeah, spoke yeah. of her. He spoke he of her said, other one. I like, the last I like one before you. That. You know what I'm saying? So when he would do shows, he would have her open up, him open up, you know what I'm saying? And he would do a thing, but he was like, okay, you, you, you're doing funnier all kinds in person. Of bad shit the right shit now. you say in person is better than what the fuck you say out there. So he's like, be this. When we talking and she got gay jokes, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's another thing. Gay, all, the, all them gay terms, fags and all that right there, you know what I'm saying? It's like the word nigga. Because I swear to God, I'm at work and I'm watching two uh, act, 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 active homosexuals, you know, and they were female. And one of them, you know what I'm saying? They both of them, the boy female, you know what I'm saying? So you're supposed to be tough and all that right there. Yeah, and but one I of them got. Those are studs. One of them got sentimental, exactly. you know what I'm saying? About a situation, you know what I'm saying? The, the girl came out to you. So the other girl was like, yeah, the other girl, you know, that's something that a woman would say. You're still a woman inside. So the other girl was like, man, you is so gay right now. You know what I'm saying? I've seen that happen. And everybody laughs, you know. So that right there is almost like saying the word nigga to each other. You know what I'm saying? And I think everybody should say the word nigga, and that'll make that shit disappear because they already are. In Asia, they call each other nigga. In Spain, they call it everybody, every race. That's because they're trying to be cool like black people. Until until they can't be cool like black people. Or until the Shit song is cost the, right. the number right. one song on the planet, you know, that fucking police and then the word nigga is in there. So, as a I think white that's, person, I you think can't that's, say, I think that's bullshit. Nigga, 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 yeah. please. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, like, I, think that? I think that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? I think that's bullshit. That song is hype, and I'm saying, but transgender people ain't getting the shit beat out of them by the police like the niggas. Oh, oh, that they already they get no. they getting beat down it's by other reported. civilians. No, they already had to go through that shit throughout the whole whatever until they passed that crime bill. Like when you was gay, when I was little I in the '70s, you get your ass. I watched that show Pose. They wasn't getting had worked on but by I each other. Gay that you you don't say nothing to them. You know there was a gay in the project. You know, we know you gay. Why you keep saying a gay and gays like you can't say the gays? Man, I'm not about to break it down and say like they say the niggas. Bisexual and you're this right here because they got too many of them. What they do. or the blacks like when you or watch what? The Dave Chappelle show he breaks it all the way down. Like right. remember he's talking about they all on the bus. The gays are right here. You know what I'm saying? I like the opposite sex. The transgenders is right here. Like you know what I'm saying? You like to dress that way and that's who you is. And the bisexuals, you just a greedy motherfucker. You just fuck every goddamn body and shit. You know what I'm saying? He broke it all the way down. The L B G T whatever it is right there. So gay, yeah, that's it. I, I'm scared to say this shit because. I have nothing. I don't want to say the wrong letters. I can. You can. What you gonna take from me? 
<laughs> what you gonna pay? Who? Who you, you ask? Who you asking? I mean, really, it's all of us. You ask the right person. They yeah. just, just they take that ass. <laughs> 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 Let's like how, how, how people say, you know, say maybe ten years, and I'm running shit, and I'm doing what I'm doing, and then somebody brings some shit back, like how they did uh, the, the little Kevin Hart. You know what I'm saying? He said some shit a long ass time ago. They'll put it in your face and shit. To bring that bring you down. So, yeah, yeah, so you know. shit. <laughs> they be out front of the barbershop <laughs> like, Gay the fuck? Well, at least you, you be there getting paid. No, you you, can, you might not be in the cut, but you can go I ahead and get paid. I in the barbershop. I mean, I knew a, a, a gay little boy. He grown now, but I've been cutting shit. I think, like, I think he's six, you know, yeah, since he's like nine or eight. Yes. And you know, like, like, like he's trying his hardest not to be gay, but the way you sit and the way you fan yourself, you know what I'm saying? And his little yeah. brother be like, you fag. And he be like, I'm not gay. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm just be like, yeah, you, 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 you really are gay. You know what I'm saying? We know it. Did you tell him? You, no, you, I never said nothing. You really are gay? No, I never said nothing, but I watched him own it. And you know what I'm saying? He a dominant person right now. You know what I'm saying? He a go-getter. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey. he do his shit, and I'm proud of him because he does something. I know that. a boy that... A lot. And I he know got work. Boy. He'll beat your ass and shit. Go ahead and say that. You I know a boy. Go ahead and say the f word. I know a dude that me and Ru called it when he was a kid. We called it right. He was he was gay already. But it wasn't like we was like laughing. We was laughing at the time. But <laughs> he grew up and it really happened. You know what I'm saying? But he was out here looking. He wasn't no transgender trying to tell people that he uh you ain't allowed to say nothing or have an opinion. You know what I'm saying? I grew up with a dude. You know what I'm saying? We know you homosexually acted. No, he wasn't homosexually acting because he was a child. But we knew you was, you was that special. You was gay. You know what I'm saying? Except you just had some tough big brother. So you just be like, he going to be gay. Well, he, you say it amongst each other. You know, you holding your chest while you're doing double. One of you bitches is double handed. Mm -mm. You know you are. You Why don't you do that so easy to do it again? <laughs> Look, hey, listen. Don't do that. There, don't do that. On the big screen. Right okay. Here. The conclusion. The conclusion from my perspective is simply, uh -uh, I don't think that, I don't think anybody is wrong if you can't necessarily press another motherfucker down. You know what I'm saying? Because I say, I feel this way, or David Chappelle feels this way, that comedy. The shit wasn't even really funny to me, and I think so over this, his, 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 so last, his last few little comedy shows but have the, been more like introspective or that's, you know that's what I'm saying like, yeah yeah words. yeah so and it's gotta, it's like a uh, his words it, it, pick his words you know what I'm saying kindly if you it's like being it, an MC that's no, why it, it, make, it, like make, that. it make it make it make you think what, hold on, but it definitely make you think the show is over then you're gonna when you try to dissect his show yeah 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 it's like that nigga he can spit or or not even that it's like he can spit he putting so much shit together that you you doing more thinking than you doing laugh not, I don't look, so, well, maybe for you, but for yeah. me, I look at it like a nigga that's, that spit, that can spit, that I can hear what he's saying, and I'm like, ooh, he's nice, Make but I think. still get the humor out yeah, of it. Yeah, you think it. Because you he's, think but it. he's giving you, he's giving a, a wider range of comedy, because and as everything else has evolved, he will evolve, he's had to evolve as well, and that's why I do like some of his perspective, because it make me seem like something I can say or want to say, but don't know how to say it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But he and he kind of kind of figured it out in a way. Like he he trying to get it to a place to where we can have these conversations because people are not they're killing right. the conversation before you can even have it. And, and I think that's the worst shit of all is that you can't we can't talk about it. But when if we can't talk about it, it'll never be like how you how you get through how we get past this. shit, yeah. Because the one they trying to figure out all the shit they figuring out, they ain't figuring out for niggas, yeah. But they figuring yeah. it out for the, the LBG. Oh, I was about to say some. I shit. said I didn't want to say the, the, that's, the whole shit. That's, that's, that's what the whole controversy is yeah. for, you know. And the little baby, the, the baby, you know, what I'm saying you shot a guy in a Walmart. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and that was real shit. It didn't even make That was real shit. It made the shit. You know what it was on so the everything that happened after that, but he was saying everything that happened after that just right. just is money. is He's a, a right. self fulfilling uh, prophecy. Like he he said, like this motherfucker can say like he can kill niggas, he can do do do, and, and nigga nigga nigga. You know what I'm saying? But then as soon as you say something about X Y and Z. Now it's a problem. You it's a problem. Cancel. Now everything shuts down. But why wouldn't you shut down on, on this other stuff that's equally as offensive? So 
don't don't think it's just the gays and or the alphabet people that's doing it. Keep just it's saying like, the gays, you got man. The support of their mom, like if you a gay industry boy, people you behind them also. I know, but guess why? Because they got gay people in their family. You in got, the industry, I know people who have gay parents. So I'm when they saying, go downtown to the gay pride festival, yeah, and it's just gays down there. It's I'm support my brother. sisters, I'm brothers, brothers uncles. So yeah. when they when they when they Dads. boycott you, that's who's boycotting you too. Yeah. That's why it's so gigantically big. And now it's a bully thing because now if you Kroger's, I can't support that either. So I'm gonna pull me right there. I'm gonna pull everything up. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want that backlash to hit you also. Like how we did with the Dixie cups. You know what I'm saying? They like pull Dixie pull, chicks. No, the Dixie cups. You know it was things that it was supporting a Trayvon Martin shooter. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, they paid for his bail. You know what I'm right. saying? So everybody was like, Dixie Cup was supporting. You know, we're supposed to shut them down. Damn, I got a, a cupboard full of Dixie Cups right now. I didn't even <laughs> fucking know this shit. See? I fucked All up. All you want to do is have a drink. That's it. Well, you know, this is coming to you. Sponsored by Jordan Brothers Trucking. J Bros. J Bros Trucking. <laughs> And also being brought to you by our famous kitchen. How last we got you? That's I ain't gonna get y'all the number tonight. Not tonight. But the, the dessert thing, the, the ball things, you know, the, the, explain that to you. Him, love man. balls. The, the fruit, man. You go ahead, man. You still stuck in Chicken ball? <laughs> no, the, uh, I forget what it was, and I remember macaroni. No, it was it was it was, it was, it was the dessert part of it, wow. but, uh, the meal, the you big balls. And I remember, and I called, I called you, and I tried to call your wife. I tried to call y'all, and, and you know what I'm saying? I wanted, I wanted to have a. a a little balls. I mean, you wanted little balls instead of big balls this Maybe time. Little balls. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, no, 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 no. We ain't doing that shit. More balls, Billy. Really. <laughs> <laughs> you know but she wouldn't give me the, the, the like. What did you put in there? Like, if I tell you, then I have to shoot you. Yeah, 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 but definitely. Yeah. All that shit is is um, guarded by her with the gun and. Pitbull, you already know. With the ingredients. The ingredients. The front door to get to the ingredients. Like even what's in the macaroni and cheese. Like you know when you eat McDonald's fries, you know them fries are from McDonald's. Man, look at my, look everybody at my got their own stuff. taste. Like this shit is so fucking <laughs> real. This shit is so the signature, that's a signature flavor. That's yeah. That comes yeah. from cause that comes from I've been making that shit so long. Now I don't I just make it. Tell me this though. Tell me about the fucking J Bro shit. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, Jordan Brothers truck? Like, what the fuck they do? What? They just got a truck or something? No, they have mini trucks or on the way to mini trucks. What's going on though? It's what a dump what truck do they do company. with their truck? It's a dump truck company. Word, word. You know, and um, on the on the on the verge of doing big things. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Keep your eyes up. Well, everybody, keep your eyes up before the. Uh, Yo, this is the first time out, so maybe next time we can have like a little information, like how you can get in touch with these motherfuckers if you got like uh, or a patio full of uh, or we can have our famous kitchen, like stuff that our famous right kitchen there. we're yeah, like, catered. Yeah, right there, right there. Like, we're going to cater. So we can tell you time. what we're eating, like on the air, so you can hear the smack, so you can sit there. I wish you. Hey, they going to have the camera in here too, so you can see how. And I'm about to make it. I ain't going I ain't fronting. I'm about to make a fresh batch of chicken balls, the cheesy chicken balls too. So it's definitely going to be official. Paul probably going to buy you out on that shit. I'm gonna make a bunch of them. I'm. I'm. I got. A bunch of chickens I'm uh I'm thawed. And then the food come quick. <laughs> it comes mm-hmm. quick. But boy, what you got, man, I just told y'all about to order some food, man. You're not about to touch this one. Let them know about the conies too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's a nigga fair. He be calling fucking with you about those. Looking for you. But nigga. Also <laughs> Your baby mama and my baby mama, they this twins. This is being brought to you by J Bros, uh-huh, uh-huh. aka Jordan Brothers Trucking, and our famous kitchen. I'll learn this. We got you. So, like I'm saying, if you 
deal with a chick in whatever capacity. You you what what you know what I'm saying? If you in love with a chick, if you have babies with this chick, automatically yeah, you got you got to assume that you cashing out, dog, in one form or fashion. You know why though? And I gladly do it. But let me tell you, back to the 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 person whose name would not be spoken right now. The best thing Speak I ever did, that. the ever the best thing I ever did was cash her the fuck out. Cause now you ain't got you. What the fuck can you say to me? So when you cashed her out, did she leave you the fuck alone, or that was just no? A it, 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 it was it was it was still some pressure here and there and shit. But I'm a I, I love my kids. I'm gonna do right by my kids. And I in hindsight, you can't co-parent. You can't listen. Just leave me the fuck alone. In, in in hindsight, in comparison to this and that, this situation. Was much better, but I I didn't have the other situation to compare it to. You know what I'm saying? Because when it came to my kids, she always allowed me to be the dad, and she respected me right. as a fucking father. Right. And if I say the kids go to bed at nine o'clock, she gonna make sure the kids go to bed at nine o'clock. That, she might fucking hate that, my guts. I be like, go I to blazed her friends and shit. You I know, I did a lot of though. dirt. I didn't get that all. The motherfuckers would be up. That's different. You got you got a good relationship. No, nah, it wasn't good. The shit was fucked up. Yeah, it wasn't good. The shit was fucked up. But the only the only good thing about it. They look at each other like, bitch, you talking about you. No, bitch, you talking about you. The only the only thing that 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 we never disagreed on is I love my fucking kids and I want the best for my kids. Right. You know, uh she 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 fucked up. Let me say that again. I love my kids and I love the best for my and I want the the fucking fucking. Hey, you know the, what I'm saying? The, the idea of Everybody cashing out the even the legal way and the moral way is so that like when y'all together, y'all had a lifestyle that the kids was used to seeing. And then when y'all break up, like if, if you the bread That shit don't and apply and to, to, so, to like poor niggas. Dr. Dre, right? To poor kids, people. Who else is the kids are supposed to who who they gonna want? If there's a swimming pool, the trampoline and all that, and cable TV all in this house right here, and then you over there and y'all just they got the big box TV and all that, you got the Atari <laughs> is, you gotta blow into the cartridges and stuff. Which parent is you going to live with? Of course you're going to So you got to imagine to make sure that whenever you go over each various house, you know what I'm saying? Y'all have the, you know what I'm saying? The equal thing. Like, it's a lot of things that we don't take in consideration, like even right. child support. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me as a right. single parent like dad, that. you know what I'm saying? If I was, if I had no kids at all, I would have a one bedroom, you know, my electric bill would be this, my food bill would be this and all that. But then when you add or three kids to it, and I gotta get it bigger. Now my bills gotta get bigger, you know. And if you help me, if you help me do this shit, you know, what I'm saying it wouldn't be as difficult. You know, I gotta buy way more food than what I had to last time. That's where the child support come in. And if the woman or man, when they get the child support check, if they depend, if they decide to spend on whatever the fuck they we they 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 can. And I'm gonna say this why because it's right here. You know, what I'm saying <laughs> if school clothes is coming and I gotta wait till you get paid and get your check and all that, I'm all. Did already, you say we? Already, Dude, what the the fuck, she's smoking the shit up like we just supposed to be money. cool with that. You know what I'm saying? We both go half, but I went ahead and bought it all right now. So when that child support check comes, this is my half of the school clothes that I put in and shit. So yes, I, if I want to buy council tickets or whatever the fuck I want to do with this money, that's what it's for. Because that child support check do come slow. Listen, you know what I'm saying? And or sometimes not at all. So shit. go ahead. No, I, I'm just saying. Like I agree that you know if 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 I if I pay out or it's been situations. Early in the game, when my first two was little, that somebody uh, come up on the scene, my people would come up on the scene. Like I need two hundred, I need three hundred, I need five hundred dollars. Boom! I always felt like if she straight, my kids straight. Now I we had you know even though it went bad here and there, we had a, a understanding that you know what I'm saying. So. I, I feel like, so like if, if you, like, she was, if you pay five, the shit. I need $500. And when she walking away, like, and your kids need shoes. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say,
You know what I'm saying? He got his own crib, but he paid for everything that was nowhere at the same time. Like, that's two extra bills and shit. And that one time, he was like, fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? He's like, drown. No, no, one time, you get it. You know what I'm saying? Here comes the $500. And she walked away, got in the car, and said, that's the window rolling down. Don't fuck up ass with it. Your kids still need some shoes, motherfucker. Nah, it wasn't like that. I think like if you go in this shit already thinking that it's a it's a potentially where this shit gonna go. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? If 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 you we we all know that at the end of the day, we we got to get out here and get it one way or another. You know that there are certain expenses in in life. Right. You gotta fucking pay that shit. So, okay, did. With that being said, is that is, is that similar to the shit Dr. Dre's wife trying to put his ass through? It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Cash her the fuck out. Go the fuck on about your business. Leave me the fuck alone. She didn't make no fucking. It don't beats. fucking make you. You you're talking about like millions of fucking dollars? If you got a fucking million dollars right now. You can live your life you off of fucking. We we everybody lifestyle. sitting right here right now. You gave her just like uh uh, uh what, what, what's how long? That's our support. <laughs> That's why I'm tell her next boo. Yeah, I'm gonna hook her up with somebody. So why would she try to get married? <laughs> Hey, that's just like uh, she probably Tom would. Arnold. That's just like Tom Arnold. You know what I'm saying? Wait, 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 I got, yeah, I got money, but this bitch got way more money. Yeah, I'm I'm living like this, but now this bitch got me. He like had this. no money before he met Roseanne. I mean, but he was already. He doing all right right now. You know his sister. You he's know his sister. He was a thousand. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He didn't get in an often and none of that shit until he got worse. But, she still but you know, his himself. sister was the meth queen. He, she still changed his life. She was the meth Arnold? queen. Tom Arnold's sister was the bitch that got meth was worse popping that. like that. Britney Spears' uh, baby dad. You know what I'm saying? He when he when she yeah he definitely yeah. But him and um, him and Tom Arnold's situation is way different. Tom Arnold actually got a career because of fucking with Roseanne because he was just a so, motherfucker. She made and they was fucking you know cocaine or whatever the fuck they was doing. And, let and let me ask you this: and got married. What, if the shit was the other way around, would you? Allow a chick to cash you out. You a team? If y'all a team, I mean, I I mean, cause me in the situation, even from the Dr. Dre side of it, or me, the you gonna say no? The male being kept. I, you know, what I mean, like a Brit, Brit, uh, uh, Dr. Dre situation or Britney Spears, Britney Spears, Spears situation. She got married to a motherfucker. It's the same shit almost. But, but I'm different. just saying, like, if he, you was, if you was on the other side, would you would you let the chick cash you up? Yeah. I mean, so if you if you broke, but, I'm a, but if you and Oprah got a divorce right know. now, I'm, I and then here's the settlement where you supposed to get. I you would know, say, uh, nigga, I would be the motherfucker. You would say no. Because I'm a man. No. No. I I'm, wouldn't be the motherfucker. I'm saying breaking just breaking my neck to go take her to court. For just listen. Just listen. This is what I'm saying. Like, I am prepared. Under any of these circumstances, but the cash out. They can't. I can't be me personally as me. I can't be compared in that situation because if I was fucking with any of them, so he gonna trick to get. If I was tricking with Buster, I mean not Buster Ron, but excuse me. God damn. If I was God tricking damn. with Dr. Dre's wife <laughs> on the side. <laughs> <laughs> If I was fucking with Dr. Dre's wife on the side, I would have found me a way to funnel me some money out that motherfucker bitch. You feel me? I like just, so, if she could go ahead and keep Dr. Dre, be with Dr. Dre. So I can't be, I can't look at the scenario in the same way. Because me as me, I would be getting money out of all of it, some way, shape, or form. But another motherfucker, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be a Listen. dude that if, I wouldn't take, I wouldn't. Unless she gets smart or say some crazy shit, like to just take me to the limit, I'm like, oh, for real? Oh, she's already. I don't know. I can't even think. I can't Listen, even. That emotion. No I don't even know nothing about that emotion. Smart shit was said throughout that conversation. Right. Shit. I can't even have the emotion. I don't even know what that emotion would feel like for me to be like, yeah. all right, then, bitch. I mean, but you want to. I'm taking you to court. If you want to motherfucker out your life, though, you know some. Cash them out. You know what I'm saying? Cash them out. You know what I'm saying? Cash them out. You know what I'm saying? This 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 is what I'm saying. I don't know, man. The worst the worst thing you can you can do to a motherfucker is 
leave them right where the fuck they stand. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if no, fuck it. I don't give a fuck. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm willing to cash Dr. that Dr. motherfucker still out. To, um, that's why you don't get married. Anyway. You know, Dr. Dre still had the prenup, and they trying to fight over how you gonna be like? Well, he ain't fuck the prenup. It I'm gonna fire. Like, just take. You know, he probably said you can have this, you can have that. I'm sure he ain't say you can't have no money. This is this is and the she question. She gonna still get spousal, you know. And they when they kids are, kids. their kids are old though. So. just like you feel. Yeah, I'm I, sure she gonna come soon. No, did net. you did you also hear in the process of all of this? Like my kids grown. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> what, what, what'd you say? What'd you say, bro? Nah, did you also hear in the process? Uh, Doctor Dre got a thirty some year old daughter who right. he cut off, and now she, yeah. you know, what I'm saying she because the shit is going on. She in the limelight trying to be like my dad. Don't fucking. Fuck with me, but I'm like you fucking. Her story, you so fucking, her dad is helping her. She's you, getting helped by her but dad. Still, she, she got some shit to talk about. <laughs> like, like, I'm, I'm doing just that like, shit too. Bruce Springsteen 30. had like three million dollars left, and he said, "I'm spending it all." I'm not. He said, he, he, "I got it out the mud. My kids don't get it out the mud." Bruce Springsteen ain't dead. No, he's not dead. You know, That's we talking about how much money he got. Money. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I made this money. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not in my wheel or nothing. I'm spending every goddamn dime that the fuck I had because I got it out the mud. I ain't gonna spoil my kids. You right. like me. If right. it ain't in you, then you and I think you. I think that's that's uh that's valid. That's what Shaq said. That's a valid. That's Shaq a valid. Uh, I think you I should my set him up for success, man. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Do it. Do your Shaq. <laughs> Do your Shaq, <laughs> motherfucker. He, <laughs> he, he, he gonna have a comedy career after this shit. Do your Shaq, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Shaq, baby. <laughs> <laughs> over and over again. I'm telling you. <laughs> right now, we got next week after we get famous kitchen here, we're gonna get many shakaronis up here. Fuck them kids. <laughs> and fuck them kids. <laughs> Shaq Diesel, baby. <laughs> yeah. I watched the Shaq shit. Shaq said he on J C Penney's fucking root. Not Route 21, but Forever 21. All that. I'm like, God okay, damn, that motherfucker dressing everybody's listen. bitch. Shaq, let's talk about Shaq for five seconds. Why I don't fuck with Shaq. You remember uh, Papa John's had the whole little shit, like call them motherfucking niggas now, and shit. Now, now, yeah. And that's when he bought them. And that's when I bought them out. Did he, did he buy them? Yeah. And, and then put a, a black face on the shit? That you no, talking about these motherfuckers ain't... ain't, ain't, ain't. No, remember it was the okay, white so, dude. It's just a name, baby. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's... No, it's, it's no more. It's, you don't see no more. That because they can't, he can't, you can't see that motherfucker no more. No, it's this right here. Shakaroni pizza. I hate Shakaroni pizza. So we need somebody to buy this shit out because he... Not buy it or be the face of the shit. Oh, of it. He owned that shit. He put his... Out of nowhere. He's the one. I'm the second in charge, baby. Who's first in charge? He's probably the man that used to work with pizza. Yeah. Out. So he came up with his own Papa John shit, and that's who he is and shit. So that's his shit. But now, and we giving up. He, he, he or, if, if, listen, he got, he got if you telling me that yeah, we giving up a dollar we gonna lose from every shakaroni, <laughs> baby. So every shakaroni show, my money the dollar go to chair. That's why he say I'm the motherfucker. I'm the him. What was the dude? I or, or, are are you name. Superman? It, it, it seems it seems to me that Papa John's. Put a put a black face on the fucking pizza after these motherfuckers. Are you telling me like like they don't have anything? Who the fuck is doing that? Like okay, are you telling me he has nothing to do with like the two? No, he's seen an opportunity. These two motherfuckers right here have nothing to do with anybody. Shaquille O'Neal invested in motherfucking them ugly ass motherfucking shacks and shit. And you see him make nineteen dollars, and he said, "But I made like such a million off of it." You know what I'm saying? Like laugh if you want. What you say, Shaq? I made them shoes because I didn't want kids to feel inferior to the other kids out the hood. Now, what happened to your wife though? Like, why? Why you fuck with? What happened to your wife? Why you tell Kobe? He why you tell it. on you? Remember he told on him. That's he listen. Kobe died. That was, that was serious <laughs> beef. <laughs> that was <laughs> serious <laughs> beef, though. <laughs> no, no, I did not like Kobe because when he played on national TV about Real shit, talk. I should have just paid him off like how Shaq did. Like, <laughs> 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 <that's> <laughs> like you didn't even bring this like, motherfucker in this shit. Know. But you don't even know. That was all a, that was all a show for the people. No, well, you ain't going to drag my name. That's the deduction that him getting the divorce. I thought what people did know is I was already in the game and Marketing. Is this plagiarism? Is it allowed I think to do this so. shit? I don't know. <laughs> you want to impersonate another grown Oh no, but you, you kind of sound like the motherfucking little bit. Oh, 
All it, I'm saying is, baby, Shaq. <laughs> Shaq and Roddy. <laughs> Shaq and Roddy pizza. That's, That's what it comes down to. So I was under the impression that the, he the just the face no, for the shit. No, no he did. He, well, as far as the pizza go, but the shit with him and Kobe was, uh, I, I, I just read, well, watched some shit. That he said it was a joke. It was all. It wasn't a joke. He said it was all for the bullshit. He said, "Do you think I would be the first person he'd run up and jump into their arms after we won the uh, championship?" Uh, come on now, hold on, because he knew it was wrong and shit. There's a whole goddamn uh, locker room of motherfuckers sweaty as fuck that just sitting there playing basketball. And everybody just stop like, because Kobe is up in the air getting choked the but fuck out of him because the shit. Just, so how you?